Isn't he like one of the Whoop science nerds? Used to be. His name's Dr. Vomisa, and he just got fired. He was working on Project Microspy, a way to reduce spies to microscopic size for super secret missions. But he was using criminals as guinea pigs to test his machine. So Jerry had to fire him. And these are criminals he used. They were arrested by Whoop a few weeks ago. I knew they weren't real agents. They had that bad guy smell. But why would Jerry send him to jail just to have us bust him out again? Because maybe Jerry isn't Jerry. Huh? Jerry must be Dr. V in disguise. So that's why he's been acting so freaky. And that's why he wanted those criminals back. So he could do more experiments. Come on, let's go ask Jerry what he's done with the real Jerry. Yeah! You guys have to help us. See, Jerry's been replaced by an imposter and... Hey! <gasps> You girls have been putting your noses where they don't. Come on, we've got to warn the rest of Wolf. After some. The three young spies are... Gotcha! Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? It's okay. This isn't really Jerry. Yeah, he's an imposter, you know, in disguise. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 wow, this is a really good mask. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. These three spies are obviously part of some nefarious plot to undermine our organization. And they will be dealt with as traitors. Remember? Then huh? why does he hate us? Jerry's our friend. I just don't understand why he's being so mean. Wow. Weird. They've all got microchip thingies in their brains. Ooh. Project Micro Spy. That may be the real Jerry, but a microscopic Dr. V is controlling him from the inside. And those criminals must be controlling the agents. Talk about mental problems. <sighs> so, you figured, figured out, out my, my little, little secret, secret you? Yes, Project Micro Spy was successful, but our dear commander was too worried about ethics to understand the value of my work. Nor did Jerry understand that these criminals were not guinea pigs, but willing assistants. But now, I control Jerry, and Jerry controls Whoop, and with my superior intellect and the private army of spies at my command, I shall soon control the entire world. And you're gonna get away with this because... I am the head of a powerful secret organization! Who is going to stop me? We are, you microscopic jerk! Oh, I'm afraid you pose a little threat. Very, very little. <laughs> yes! Oh, once my molecular reduction apparatus shrinks you to microscopic size, you won't cause me any more trouble. Because you'll be far too busy fighting for your lives against an army of vicious bacteria. Begins the shrinking process! We gotta get loose! Duh! How? You cannot escape. Hey! Way ahead of you! We're trapped! And we're shrinking! Good! Good? Whose side are you on, girl? We have to get my 
supersized if we're going to go after Dr. B. Now, we just have to figure out how to get one of those nifty submarines. Great! We're in an itty-bitty submarine. Now what do we do? I'll drive. <laughs> You have stolen a submarine, so that With no way of entering the bodies, there's no way you can harm me. Huh? What are you? Stop! Zeri does not control the hand! Stop! I control the hand! Scones, if I were you. Never thought I'd be happy about going up 15 dress sizes. And I never thought you'd be saving the world from me. Many thanks, Scones. <laughs> so I guess Dr. V and his boys are in big trouble, huh? Yes, but big trouble can come in small packages. missing 
Froggy Day. So to make up for it, we each wrote a paper on human anatomy. Well, that's very nice, girls, but since you didn't do the dissection, I'm afraid I still have to give you an... These papers are brilliant! You you describe the body's systems in such, such detail. It's, it's almost as if you'd seen it firsthand. Almost. You three don't need to dissect anything. I'm giving you all A's. Huh? And you can keep your frogs as pets. Uh, thanks.